Welcome to the Goth Math class. Let's make math so easy. Hello everyone, I'm your teacher for this question. The question says, use synthetic division to find the quotient and the remainder. As coefficients get more involved, a calculator should prove helpful. Do not round off. We're giving the polynomial 2x to the 6th power minus 13x to the 5th power plus 75x to the 3rd power plus 2x squared minus 50 is divided by x minus 5. Okay, so for, for synthetic divisions, synthetic division, it is actually very similar to long division. We are asked we are asked to divide polynomial or a polynomial polynomial by x minus c or m x minus r is the same. In our case, c is five and is the zero. Okay. And the second thing for this question we need to know is that always, always write divisor in the full form or the whole form. By which I mean, in our case, we have the polynomial 2x to the 6th power minus 13x to the 5th plus 75x to the third power. So see, there is a gap here because we do not have the fourth power. So what we do, by which I said to write in the full form, I complete it with 0x to the fourth power plus 75x to the third power, and then to the second power. And now I have a gap have a gap again because between 50 and x to the, to the second power we do not have what x to the first power or the one first power okay so we complete it again we use x 0 minus 50 so for these two terms right here so okay if one degree is missing we complete it okay so that's, that's what I mean by write the divisor in the full form. Okay, now we can dive into the question. So first thing we do is to write down the coefficients for the divisor, which are 2, negative 13, 0, 75, 2, 0, and negative 50. And then we draw something that looks like this. And then what we do is to put a zero on the left, which is five right here. Okay, after finish all this, we can start the process. We bring this number down, which is two. And then what we do is to do multiplication between five and two and the rest of the numbers. So five times two is equal to 10. We put it right over here, so below the first line. And then we do addition between the first line and the second line. So uh, negative 13 plus 10 is equal to negative 3. And we, then we do multiplication again. 5 times negative 3 is equal to negative 15. Plus 0 is equal to negative 15. Times 5 is equal to negative 75. Plus 75 is equal to 0. 5 times 0 is equal to 0, of course. And 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 times 5 is equal to 10 plus 0 is equal to 0, sorry, 10, not 0. And times 5 is equal to 50 plus negative 50 is equal to 0. Okay, next concept. The last number we get is always the remainder. So in our case, the remainder is equal to 0. Okay, and then... We also need to know that for the what for the quotient for quotient leading d 
degree is one less than the divisor. Divisors. By which I mean all divisors leading degree is the sixth, right? It's right here. And for our leading degree for the quotient is supposed to be the fifth. And also for these numbers, we get from here these are coefficients. Coefficients of quotient. We should write our quotient out now. So we have 2x to the fifth power minus 3x to the fourth power minus 15x to the third power plus 0 to the x to the second power, which is still equal to 0. We can write it or not. It doesn't matter. And plus 2x plus 10. And because our remainder is 0, this is a factor. Okay, now, this is the quotient right here. And our remainder is equal to zero. So these two are the answers for this question. Okay, what we can take away from this question is how to use synthetic division to find the quotient and the remainder. And there are a couple of concepts we learned. First is to always write down the divisor in the full form. And the second is for quotient, the leading degree is one less than divisors. And the third, the numbers we get after calculation are the coefficients for the quotient. And we can write the quotient out based on these numbers. Okay, so that's all for this question. See you in the next video.